Your mineral sunscreen is mostly not fully mineral and here is why. A lot of brands that push the faulty message of oh chemical sunscreen are bad usually sell mineral sunscreen that contain an inactive ingredient that works and looks structurally speaking like a chemical UV filter without disclosing and in my opinion it's unethical and it should be illegal. Michelle from Lab Muffin did a good video about this on her YouTube channel. I recommend checking that video. As a toxicologist, I will speak about the safety of those ingredients since toxicity is my field of expertise. Those ingredients pose a higher risk for many reasons. Reason number one, although the SPF booster looks structurally similar to the regulated and tested UV filters, we can't be 100% sure that they have the same safety profile because in pharmacology, changing a few atoms in a molecule can dramatically change how this compound is processed by your body. Absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion, also known as toxikinetics. Plus, it can change the effects of the molecule on the body, also known as toxicodynamics. One of the non-animal methods used in toxicological study is called read across and we use it to get toxicity data from a studied compound to be estimated for another structurally similar compound. But it needs a lot of estimation and uncertainty factors. Reason number two is that because those SPF boosters are not tested or regulated, there are no concentration limits for safety like the regulated UV filter. So the brands that use those boosters have only the manufacturer recommendation which are not legally binding and the brands can use more than the recommended percentage. As a final message, are those SPF boosters going to harm you? Most likely no. Do they pose a higher risk? Definitely yes, because of one reason only, because the lack of data and regulation, because even the safest chemical in the world can be super dangerous without the right test and regulation. Unfortunately, this happened because brands and irrelevant experts were pushing against chemical filters that are tested and regulated for safety. So people now want mineral sunscreen that is usable by all skin tones with high protection which is impossible without the usage of those SPF boosters. As always, stay safe and listen to the expert educating in their field of expertise.